Yo, what's poppin' ladies and gentlemen, my name is Smojo, welcome back to another video. I am here to tell you guys about the awesome, amazing world that is only released during Christmas time, you know what I mean, with those Christmas packs and everything. This robe is, is very, very rare, mainly because Disclaimer, you can only get it from packs, and it's super rare to even get it out of a pack. I kid you not, I dropped around a hundred-ish dollars, you know, last year trying to get this robe. And, uh, you know, it's coming around again Christmas time, so I'm here to tell you guys about this robe, just in case you want to drop a thousand something dollars to Wizard 101 just to get this robe. And get the, literally the highest damage dealing robe in the entire game. Uh, this is higher than the Royal Fusion Stress Code. This is higher than Malisher. This is higher than Dragoon. It's the ultimate ultimate robe if you're looking to go full on blown glass cannon build uh for wizard 101 so yeah hopefully you guys enjoy don't forget to leave that like button since youtube's algorithm is shitty and they only care if a video gets a bunch of likes and uh yeah let's go ahead and get started my girl so this robe is called the royal Freezes dress coat and you can only get out of the yuletai pack which costs around 300 crowns now the yuletai pack is not yet because it's in october over time and you know that's kind of not how this game works but if you guys want to get it for yourselves you're gonna have to wait till christmas and hopefully it is christmas time when you're watching this so you can get it yourself uh this robe stats are as follows as soon as i pull it up it gives you 26 damage universal damage which is far higher than the radiant light guard damage which is, is only 23 which is only fire why while, while this one is uh you know it's it's fucking it's it's universal you know what i mean not only that but it also gives the highest power pit percentage out of the main three robes um this one gives six and that one gives nine so this one is the highest does it also give the max health oh no this one's more health but yeah this one is the highest when it comes to power pip it also gives you plus six pierce which is really good for pierce builds in my opinion now this robe does have some downsides just like you know every other robe it's not completely overpowered um it doesn't give you any resistance it gives you you know two resistance and ice and life which i don't think really matters that much but it gives you no universal resistance it has the lowest crit chance and it also has the lowest amount of accuracy. This only gives 5% accuracy. This one gives 10. And of course, the uh, Madison Road gives 18. Um, but 5% universal accuracy isn't bad. In fact, this is the main road that I run during all of my, uh, all of my, you know, videos, my builds or whatever. I usually run this road all the time only because it gives me the highest amount of damage. And I like to flex my pierce. Usually during my setup, I have around 30% pierce, which is really good. Um, considering, you know, most builds out there are only rocking 10 pierce um so yeah my 30 peers i i love it and i adore it and i prefer this robe over the radiant light brigade armor and the robe of the malar series ire so yeah i definitely advise you guys to get this robe now with the gear that i'm rocking right now this isn't my everyday gear i just tried to get the highest amount of damage possible for my character with the gear that i have i'm rocking about 203 total damage of course you know with the soft cap that really doesn't matter but if we're just looking at numbers 203 now i don't even have the best gear in the world i do believe that the caramel a uh, dagger would possibly be better i'm rocking a dragoon one which gives me 18 the caramel is 20 so that might be extra two percent but then again i'm rocking the dragoon set bonus so i really don't really know but yeah i'm rocking 203 damage fire culture we're looking at 206 and you know i might be missing some shit maybe we could get 210 you never know you know what i mean um in my other gear if you guys are interested which you shouldn't be considering that i'm getting uh, you know all the other stats are pretty much ass but if you're interested anyways i'm rocking a dragon fiery helmet the royal freezes dress cult dragon boots the fossil vendor skull crusher you know the dragon fiery dagger I'm rocking a paper vipers card kit i believe this is the only amulet in the game that gives you damage um all the other ones really kind of just don't so i'm rocking that i'm rocking executive thermal ring the highest damage ring in the game and i'm rocking the all freezers uh, the, the the freaking frillazor uh the all damage frillazor and for my deck it's just a divine paradox deck and that's really about it if you guys are interested in what gear that i rock every single day which doesn't have 200 something damage um but it's still pretty damn decent um this is what i'm rocking pretty much the exact same gear except the theme is the azure the shadow web instead of the dragoon theme and for my amulet of course i'm rocking the dragoon amulet and uh for i'm rocking this one for pierce because i can i could just socket it and yeah with this my damage is 177 I'm getting decent resistance some accuracy 90 uh 95 power pip and you know 177 damage so yeah but yeah i just wanted to tell you guys about this role because a lot of people don't know about it and i never see people rocking it 
um barely i always see people rocking a malleston robe which isn't a bad robe but you know i feel like the robe is just better but yeah if you guys want to go out there and get this robe it only drops during christmas time again it's the Yuletide pack so make sure you guys cop that guy and yeah thank you for watching i'll see you guys in the next video have a great morning evening afternoon whatever the fuck it is for you and you guys have a great day peace